Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 29 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Oh, it's dark out. I kind of like the fact that it's dark out, because it's astral sorcery time, and that's a good time to have some darkness. But, that said, uh, I do want to uh, sleep through the night and uh, proceed to get started with what I wanted to work on. And of course, there's just creepers everywhere. Hello, creepers. Yeah. See you later, alligator. Uh, so, last episode we continued with Astral Source, and we even had a little bit of fun getting the frame stuff finalized, uh, and doing some Astral goodies, uh, to, to get ready to make, uh, the next, uh, block that I really want to focus on getting done, which is the Gateway Lock. And then we want to get into some, uh, some of the infusion abilities that Astral Sorcery gives us. Uh, alignment or something like that. I forget what it's called, but it's a thing that's cool. And we're gonna play with it. So putting away a bunch of junk that we don't need at the moment. That should be cool. You can tell I went mining uh, between episodes, maybe, because there's a bunch of ore in there. Yeah, totally a good indication that I went mining between episodes because we were getting a little bit low on resources. Uh, so last episode, we wrapped up with a little bit of a, of a cliffhanger where we made a celestial game. Woohoo! Now, the Celestial Gateway is a multi block structure uh, which is going to need the following blocks. Uh, it's a Celestial Gateway. It's going to need 20 marble arches, 25 sooty marble, 4 ruined, and 4 engraved. So, 20 marble arches. So, let's get a chisel. Uh, we already have like a junky chisel. Let's get a nicer chisel, um, a diamond chisel. And in every version of uh, this mod in the past, the eye chisel has been like <coughs> uh, buggy. So, I'm not going to try it right now. Uh, maybe at some point. What's what's the? Yeah, I mean it doesn't look that bad, but I don't know like what I don't know why. But it's always been a little bit like eh, brokeny. Uh, and we're gonna want marble, right? Uh, so we've got one sooty marble, and we can get these guys. Um, so we're gonna want twenty-five sooty marble. So what's the recipe for this? Um, can I just do it in here? Accepts any marble. Like this oh that does work cool okay well that's good so there's your 25 city marble neat perfect i'm gonna need to get more marble by the way and i've started looking into uh how to go about getting some uh there's there's an option or two uh but aside from that we're going to need 20 marble arches so what's the durability on this guy 55 cool so 20 marble arch Okay, uh, four ruined and four engraved. Cool. Four ruined and four engraved. Nice. Uh, now I got to do it all again <laughs> because we want two of these bad boys. Uh, so we're going to do this. Technically, I need more of it. Uh, so we are rapidly getting to the point where we need more marble. Uh, what is our marble situation? Uh, so we need 20 more arches. So that's going to be rough. So let's look into how we can get more marble. Uh, marble, there's two uh, types of marble. Uh, so there's a marble from Astral Sorcery, which you can find in the overworld in, in some locations. Uh, it's not super common, but it exists out there. Um... Have I been putting marble into here? I have, but I've got such a small amount of it, it's not even worth mentioning. I've got seven. I mean, it's better than zero, but uh, I do. I have been getting it. Um, and then there's uh, the other marble, which uh, I guess is marble from Chisel. Yeah, and that is also World Gen, uh, which you can find in you know, lots of different dimensions. So that tends to be at higher Y levels. Uh, so in the mining world, it's it's not terribly uncommon at Y level, like 60s. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's not cool. So crafting of marble is totally a thing you can do. It's not super easy, but apparently if we put limestone in a compactor, we'll get some marble. So limestone, is that a thing that I've been getting underground? Again, a really small amount. Like, an almost comical amount of limestone has been found underground. A comically small amount. Luckily, there is a compacting recipe for that. Uh, it is a bone block, uh, which we can find, apparently. So we can do that or just that. Um, and then bone meal, we can obviously pulverize, right? So, like, what if we just got 
a stack of bones and threw it in the pulverizer with some augments to do more augmenting. Uh, and what I might do just to make this a little bit easier is throw a chest on here and uh, configure you to output to the top. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, let's get a Signalum conversion kit, which has a lot of prerequisites. And I'm going to drop that onto my compactor because we're at the point where I think having an upgraded compactor would probably make me a little bit of sense. Uh, so apparently I'm getting like six bone meal per bone by doing it like that. So that's cool. I'm just wondering if there's another way that's even better. Not really. Yeah, that's pretty much your best bet. So you're going to get six stacks or so. So what if we got a uh, half a stack of bone meal, right? So six stacks of bone meal from a stack and three stacks from half a stack would equal nine stacks, right? Uh, and then that would be one stack of blocks, which would become one stack. So basically a stack and a half of bones becomes one stack of marble after all the processing is complete. Um, which doesn't sound too bad. So there's your six stacks, right? Uh, if we turned you into bone blocks and requested as many more of those as we could make and throw them into here. And that's not terribly so. How's my upgrade kit come along? So we've got the hardened, we've got the reinforced, Signalum's on its way. You've got a few more of those guys going. Just gonna real quick check to make sure that nothing's gummed up anywhere, right? Nothing's gummed up anywhere. What are you guys waiting on? Waiting for items. Item processing, signal them. Inserting items, signal them and gets. You should actually be working right now. Am I missing something? Yeah, we'll give it a few minutes and see if it finishes. In the meantime, you're done. So that means 21 more of these dudes can go like boom, 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 and one more. Beautiful. And I guess you're not too slow. And then limestone can be compacted down into marble. Neat. All right, back in a sec when that's all done processing. And I figure out why this machine's not running. So apparently it's trying to craft the Signalum with Signalum ingots instead of blend. So I'm gonna turn off uh, the, the or dictionary and see if that makes it better. Cause that's weird that it would do that. Like when I crafted this, it was taking, there we go, now it's behaving. Nice, okay. Much better. So now I should be able to get the conversion kit. Cool. Neat. In theory. There we go. Okay. So you're gonna go, I don't know why I went down and up, but that just will speed that machine up a little bit better. Um, and if we wanted to, we could borrow these guys and boom, now we're really cooking. Aha, beautiful. So now we're getting more marble. So that's one way um, when you're in a pinch to get more marble. And currently I am in a pinch. Uh, so that is what I wanted to do. So let's, uh, about 16 of these. Uh, we need marble arches. Uh, and then four of them will go to engraved and four will go to this. And hey, perfect timing. That was just enough chiseling. And we've got a few extra pieces of marble. Neat. Uh, I think. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, but let's get our gateway up and running. So I'd like to have a gateway. What these things do is basically allow you to teleport from one location to another. That's that's specified in the world. Uh, so I'd like to have my base's gateway. I haven't entirely decided where I want my base's gateway to be. Like it would be kind of cool to have it, like, I don't know. I think it's like maybe chop down this maple tree. Yay. Um, haven't entirely decided where I want this to be. 
Might need my meat creepers to help me out a little bit. Like maybe on top of this. So these are some shaded gardens. Huh? These are basically all Pam uh, related stuff. Cool. Uh, marble. Let's get the 25 exactly that we need here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, like maybe up here can be where my, well, I kind of want it to be near my astral stuff, but I kind of just want it in general near my base. Perfect timing. That thing just finished. So should I put it over here by my astral stuff? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe like right here. This looks like a nice enough spot. Uh, what I'm going to do is get some dirt then to help fill in that creeper hole. And maybe chop down this tree as well. Cool. Uh, and with that relatively filled in, I'm going to next put away this stuff I don't need. And let's build out the multi-block structure. So that is a 5x5 five five of marble uh, soot, right? So I'm actually going to... Start this here. Cool. We'll put our gateway in the center. I said center. Uh, and then around it will be the 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 ones that I have 40 of these ones. Uh, and then in the corners go these with these on the top of those corners. Cool. So. Basically, we want to go around here. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I kind of feel like making a nifty tool that might help me out with this. Maybe for the next one that we build, because we're going to be building two of these. So remember, 20 of these, right? So that's five on each side is your 20. And then these in the corners and this on top. These in the corners, this on top. These and this these and this and we should now have our, our thing right i think that's it should be good is that right looks right looks right to me well maybe there needs to be another one here before i can actually use it because it is a teleporter it is going to let me teleport. Marble Arch from Astral Sorcery, right? Yep. Ruined Marble and Engraved Marble. Looks right to me. Ruined Marble and Engraved Marble. That should be good. All right, well, let's get the, the other side of the teleporter set up. So uh, what I want to get there is I'm going to borrow my Slime Sling for a minute. Where is my Slime Sling? Oh, you know what? I left it in the chest. I don't know why I have a chest at the front of my house that has random items in it that I might occasionally need, but I do. Uh, let's pop over to the marble area, uh, the, the temple that's off in that general direction. So uh, is my waypoint missing? Yeah, it is. Uh, I know it was generally that way. This is it. Um, so let's just head off in that direction. I'll recreate the waypoint. Wait, I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we're here. Beautiful. Um, so this thing is pretty much where this crystal lives. And that's where I've been doing some of my crafting. Now, technically speaking, uh, we will get to a point where we don't need that crystal anymore. Uh, but we're not there yet. Also, hello cows. Um, so since we're not there yet, I may want to teleport over to this location every now and then. So this is going to be one of my first teleport destinations uh, in this uh, mod that I'm going to play with. So in order to make this, uh, we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, followed by... I'll do the thing that I want to do for my next block. Cool. And then five here, five there, five 
five there with the engraves. And well, the ruins down and then the engraves and that should be good. And then we can make our celestial gateway. And that's cool. All right, that works. I can tell it's working because look, we've got particle effects. Nice. All right, so the celestial gateway works by when you step in it, you are given a nifty little look. Whoa, that is cool looking. And when you look around, you should see um, a destination. So that leads me to believe that I did something wrong back at my main base. Let's hop over to there uh, and see what I may have done wrong. In the meantime, I can put away some of this stuff I don't need. Uh, so what did I do wrong with you? Because you, like, the other one lit up, like, immediately. And this one's just, like, a big fat nope of lighting up. So what did I do wrong with you? Like, you are literally the exact same build. What's wrong with you, multi-block? Sooty marble. Marble arch. Engraved in runes. Am I completely derping, or is there, like, no difference between these two multi-blocks that I built? Back in a minute when I figure out what's what. Alright, just rebuilding it, because sometimes blocks can be funny, and we'll see if that wants to behave now. Oh, now we're behaving. Look, we've got it. So, uh, I don't know if it was the fact that I relogged or not, but something helped. So by standing in here, we'll see a gold star. That is one of the destinations that are available. Obviously, I've only made one, so we've only got one destination, and I think I hold right-click... And whoosh, I'm teleported over there. Nice, how cool is that, huh? And then over here, I can teleport back. Whoosh, and you can even see like while you're holding right click, a little like rendering of like where you're teleporting to, which is kind of cool. And then, yeah, I was holding and stopping right click. That is neat, huh? So stand in the platform and right click the gold star to teleport to it. I, uh, not sure that I'll ever get over the coolness of those uh, particle effects right there. All right, I literally have to stop doing that because I'll just do it all day. Um, so let's take a nap because it's nighttime. Uh, and I think the next thing we're going to want to do is probably uh, look at making this part of things, attunement. So the attunement altar is definitely something we're going to want to check out. Uh, it is a big part of uh, the mod, and we're going to need a large multi-block structure. So in total, we need like a large number of things. So like 350-ish marble, give or take. Um, so one of the things I'm gonna do is head over to that fancy temple and destroy it. It's a nice looking temple, don't get me wrong. I kind of feel a little bad about destroying it, but I haven't found any others. Uh, and I need the marble that's there. So uh, yeah, let's go. I'll take a quick look in this general area to see if there's another temple. And if there is, maybe I won't destroy this one, but I, I'm, I'm not too hopeful for that possibility. So we will come back in a sec once I've exhausted the possibility that there might be other temples out here that I could like thrash for their marble reserves. It's not looking good, y'all. I looked far and wide and had like no luck. So I think I'm gonna thrash this thing. Uh, actually what I'm gonna do is grab my Two by two, three by three, five by five, minor guy. And upgrade my drill. You know what else I want to get? This dude. Because remember I went mining last episode? Or between episodes? Yeah. So my drill could probably use some recharging. All right, I'm going to chop down pretty much this whole temple. Except, obviously, um, the one thing that I need in there, which is the rock crystal that's kind of floating in the world, uh, that thing stays. But the rest of the marble blocks, this is going to be a decent amount of marble for me. So, back in a minute. Seriously, guys, there's a lot of marble in this temple. Like, I've been dumping it into the bag for a while. I can't wait to get back to my base and see how much there is. Finally. Now, in theory, this thing doesn't really need the whole, you know, temple to do the thing it does. So that should be fine. And uh, we should be able to teleport home and drop off all these loots that we've got. Woot. Teleportation for the win. So how are we doing on marble? Ha, <laughs> we're better. We are way better. Uh, what I do want to do probably, I'm, pff, mm, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so we want one of these, right? So let's like start the process of getting what we want to get. Uh, so we're going to need 
Obviously, one of two in Naruto. We'll get at that. Four ruined and maybe 80 marble arch. Uh, so we'll want... Ruined is four. And I want to, like, prepare all this, right? So I think 21 is what I need for more marble arches. So there's your 80 marble arch, okay? Um, and your four ruined. 12 marble pillars... That's check. Uh, and then four chiseled marble. Cool. And that's check. All right, so then I need 225 sooty marble, uh, which is going to be by way of that stuff, right? So there's the this, 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 and this are all required. And then 225 sooty marble, uh, which according to my calculator, 20, 225 divided by 64 is a little more than three and a half stacks, right? Um, so what we're going to want to do here, one, two, three, and a half, and I think it's one more, and then we're cool. Now before we make this uh, multi-block structure, I would like to make a new tool, something that will help us to make this multi-block structure. Uh, and for that, we're going to come up here and place one, two, three, stardust, two stardust there, and then purple at the head. There we go. Now we're talking. Hold your horses, everybody. It's time for Resonating Wand. Woot! Resonating Wand for the win. This nifty gadget will make building this giant structure that I need to make a little bit easier. And you'll see how in a minute. Hooray! We've got a formation wand. Let's uh, pop home and take a nap. Because I don't want mobs around when I'm doing this. <laughs> Baby zombie on a chicken. You know what? There's one more thing I'm going to want to make. Uh, just to make my life a little bit easier. And it's from uh, Chisels and Bits. And that is the tape measure. This nifty gadget is going to be amazing uh, for what we want to do in a minute here. Uh, so let me get back to chopping down all these trees and I might even pop out the meat creeps to help me out a little bit with some flattening operations. My inventory full? Nice. That's how you know I've been busy. Uh, you, I can put away my slime sling and the dirt and the rubber tree saplings and that stuff for the time being. Cool, that's good enough to go away for now. Uh, me Creeps. I'm Mr. Me Creeps, look at me. I need you to flatten an area. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna actually dismiss you because I want you to flatten pretty much starting at this level. Ew, I'm Mr. Me Creeps, look at me. Yes sir, me. Oh, yes and sir, me. So you guys start chopping. Come on. Great. What? Hacks with the bees. Wow, they actually hurt a lot. Uh, let me clear this out and I'll be right back. I guess I should have used the smoker. One more nifty thing to get. Uh, if you get some, some grass with your shears, uh, and you bring it over here and drop it into a mana pool, hopefully with enough. Hooray! Uh, you get these pasture seeds. Uh, which are useful for making one little nifty crafting recipe. Come here, sir. The Horn of the Wild. This thing uh, is super cool because it will automatically cut down any tall grass in an immediate area. Cool. Goodbye, tall grass. Nuisances. Uh, totally recommend it if you're trying to flatten a nice area. Cool. Definitely going to need to deal with my grave situation here soon. So like all this stuff. Awesome. So with my chisels and bits tape measure, I'm going to put you into block mode. And let's just see uh, after I remove my waypoint here. And we're probably getting 
pretty close to wrapping up, it feels like. But this is how wide across. You can measure this. This is, oh boy, didn't want to fall down there. So that's 19 by 16. Okay. So if I wanted to remove you, which I can't do because my inventory is full. Really inventory. Goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, so the tape measure is how you can, you know, map out like a decent sized area. So if we wanted to do this, would this be 19 across? That is pretty darn close to 19 across, it looks like. 19 by 19. That could easily be my area, but you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna bring it out like just a little bit further. So like three blocks. This is how I'm gonna map it out. 19 by 19, right? That's what the book says. Totally. All right, let's see if I remember how this formation wand works. If I place that here and I go stand, say, wrong spot. Uh, just fill in this water spot a little bit because you're in the way. And put away the junk because inventory. That should be cool. You can come out of there. That'll work. Uh, if I, do I have to shift right click this first? I may. Boom. Now, see in the top left, it indicates that I have 224 of those. The way this works is you look at a block and you'll see some ghost blocks represented. You right click and it will build in a line to your player. So, you know, if you're standing here, it'll build to there. And if you're standing, for example, here, it'll build to there. Boom. How cool is that? Uh, one caveat, you can't actually right click on a block with it. It doesn't place well if you're right clicking on a block, but otherwise it works pretty good. Notice on the bottom of my experience bar there, see that little energy field? That's your astral power that's uh, being used to perform this magic. Uh, if you get low, well, things happen. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to be 16. Oh yeah, so that's supposed to be like way less. It's supposed to be like way less. Hold on, let me uh, undo all that. Very bad. I got all excited about my formation wand and I forgot to actually like look at what I was building and just assumed I was building a 19 by 19 of soot, which was not accurate at all. Uh, so those all appear to be the ruined or the, or the arches, right? So basically what we're gonna have here is something like that um, on the outer edge. So one, two, three, four, five. And then underneath in the center is like a hollow block. So it can really technically be anything. So for anything, for now, I think I'll just put like dirt, right? Because it doesn't matter. Because on top of that is going to be some ruined. And then on top of that will be one, two pillars. And then the this guy. That actually might be three pillars, I'm gonna assume, because I've got 12 of these. Cool, so that's how we're gonna build this out, right? So, with this, uh, and then a ruined, three, and this. And a ruined, three, and a chiseled. And a ruined, three, and chiseled. Cool. Uh, and then from there, we basically want, do I feel like this is wrong? No, it looks, looks okay. Right, because it'll look like, 
So basically, from here to there, we want to use our formation wand, wherever it went, on that. And that comes to there like this. Does this look right? And then our formation wand here. Does that look cool? Am I doing this right? That looks pretty good, right? And I don't think I have any more of those blocks left. So I think I must have done it right. Uh, cool. All right. That looks good. Yeah. And then from here, uh, we'll want to place down one of these dudes and basically say, you know, build to me. Boom. And if I built this right, we will have used up all of our sooty marble. I have. So I think I built it right. That looks cool. And then to clear it, just shift right click with your tape measure and it clears out the map, the mapping thing. So that looks that looks good, right? Uh, you? I want to put you on cobblestone or something. I hate how dirt breaks with the... Yeah, that looks pretty good, dudes. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here, and we'll come back next episode, and we will get infusion going on. Uh, in order to get infusion going on, uh, we are going to need to craft uh, this thing that goes in the very center of that block. Um, so for it, we need some star metal, we need a spectral relay, we need some ruined marble, we need some aquamarines, and we need an attuned rock crystal or a rock crystal. Um, so this is what we're going to do. So we're going to build this guy next episode, and then we'll play around with attunement. And hopefully, uh, another thing I'd like to do is maybe explore a little bit. Um, and, and look for more temples. Uh, maybe not like necessarily large. If I found a large temple, I'd be thrilled. But if I found a small one, that would work well too, because that should get me more of these constellation papers that we need, these ones. Because I'm going to want a few more of them to, to round out my constellation knowledge. All right, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time with more actual sorcery. Uh, I know I promised right around episode 30 is when we'd start working on the new base. That is something that I still have planned to do. Uh, it might be one or two episodes away, but I, I think in the in the very early 30s is when I will do it. Anyway, take it easy.